if you're still trying to get your head around what I said in the last video, because I know this, this touches a nerve for many people, that your home is not going to fund your retirement. It's good, but it's not going to fund the cash that you need. Yeah, Please do pick up the Making Sense book and turn to page 71 and read about Peter and everything he went through, including the emotional attachment, which we cannot deny we have to our home. And in this final video of this series, I want to talk about our attachment to ownership. We believe owning is everything. So you've worked so hard all your life. You, you finally own this home. It's, it's a stamp of approval for yourself and from other people, a point of validation. And now there's this situation right in front of you where you may have to give us, give up ownership, but we put a lot of faith, a lot of belief, a lot of importance on ownership versus experience. So a lot of people also, when they get their pension fund, because it comes in as a lump sum, they run to buy their dream home. And if that's the only money you have, that's a mistake. It is a mistake to remove money from your pension fund and go and buy a home in this season of your life because then it has eaten up all your money and you don't have money for the supermarket. So I want to bring this, what do you want to experience? Maybe what you want is to experience living in a certain place. So I'm gonna ask you, look for the experience not the ownership all the time if you can afford it way and what do you do you but if you can't what's the experience you want to live in this particular area you want to leave and then question you want to live there anyway or you want to live in a different part of the country then look for that experience you don't have to own it all the time and I was talking to a couple of people and we were talking about dreams because this is also the season of your life to answer, if not now, when? What are your aspirations? And understand your aspirations don't need you to own. And they, and, um, they kept saying how they would like to own places in various parts of the country, in, at the beach, the mountains, the wildlife. So have the option to go there whenever they want to go, but then own. And just look at how much money it would take to own houses in all those areas. I know it's ideal. I know when we watch the movies and we see rich people, we see them owning all these types of houses. But do you want to own or do you want to experience? If you decide you want to go live in the mountains for two years, trust me, you can find an option for that. Maybe after two years there, you want to live somewhere differently. So go for the experience. Another mistake we make with the monies we get from retirement is start a business immediately. We don't take time to think it and we don't take time to evaluate. Do you really, really, really want to start a business? Same time we run an entrepreneur course so you can have the realities of starting a business. Business is work. So do you want that kind of work? So for some people, it's straight up, yes. But some people were like, no, actually, back to the accounting um, example I gave before, I just want to be able to help businesses get their financials or do financial advisory for businesses. You don't have to own the business to actually do that. You can be a consultant or you can work with other businesses that are already set up that can do that. So don't, don't think you have to start a business think what problem am i solving where can my skills add value who is the person i can partner with and then go to them don't wait for a job application so let's move away from owning to experiencing you want to work on a construction project you don't have to own the site yeah go and be a part of it so let's move away from ownership into experiencing. There's some things you may want to own. Maybe your longer term plan is to pass them on to your children. That is different. But for you, start asking, is it ownership you're after? Is it the experience? Write that down. And then when you separate the two, you can then see what are the ways of getting in this experience. And then like I say in the book, money is a tool for the life. It is not the life. In other words, money is the servant. If you've joined us on this video for the first time, please go back to the other four videos. Then you'll understand where we've come to at this point. So in this journey of your retirement, make money the servant. Answer all those questions we've been prompting you from what does your lifestyle look like? What does, what does retirement mean to you? What can my skills do? What kind of income am I after? What, what, 
what is this picture then the money will come in at the servant and you'll be able to rearrange things but also give yourself the energy and have the conviction of why you're doing certain things so i hope you've enjoyed this series on retirement please let's continue to make sense let's share let's subscribe and if you are in this age 40s 50s and beyond and you want to tackle this on a deeper level please remember centonomy does have the centonomy gold program you can get the details after this and uh, register and join as we help you thrash this out let's make sense everybody bye